discovery book on flowers by Scholastic. Illustrated by Renee Mettler. The crocus blooms when spring appears. The orange pistil is hidden inside the flower. Here is what it looks like. This is a pistil. These are called stamen. The stamens have pollen in them. Many flowers smell nice and have pretty colors. They attract insects. The insects like to eat the nectar or the pollen. Well, this is like a transparent page. So we get to make the butterfly, the bee, and the bee fly. Looks like move to this side. Pollen gets on the insect's legs. Then the insects carry the pollen to the pistil of the next flower. It's like they get dust on their legs and they touch each different flower spreading the pollen. All flowers make seeds so that new plants can grow. The dandelion starts as a bud, then it becomes a flower, and insects leave some pollen on its pistil. The petal dries up, and when the seeds are ready, this is a globe of seeds, they fly away in the wind. We've all seen the dandelions. This is a strawberry plant. Its green buds open up into little flowers. The fruit grows inside the center of the flower. They start off like little green and then the fruit grows inside the center of the flower. Soon the petals fall off and now you can see ripe yummy strawberries. They get really big. They can get really big. Those ones are kind of small. All fruits come from a flower. The fruits contain the seeds. Apple. The seeds are inside. Eggplant. The seeds are inside. We call these vegetables, but they are also called fruits because they have seeds in them. Green beans, the seeds are inside. Sometimes you can use parts of certain flowers to make foods, spices, and teas. Saffron is the dried end of the crocus pistil. It is a spice often used in rice. Here's cloves. The clove is a dried flower bud. It is used in baking. I put cloves in my gingerbread. The artichoke is the bud of a plant with purple flowers. There's the artichoke. This is chamomile. Chamomile and lime blossoms are used to make tea. Lime blossoms. Chamomile. Capers are also flower buds. They are used in soups and sauces. Sometimes you see a jar of capers at the grocery store. Here are some well-known flowers. Look closely at the shape of their petals and their colors. Sage. This is a big orchid. Jonquil. I thought that was a that's a daffodil. Jonquil. Foxglove. Violet. Clover. Bluebell. Iris. All different colors. Sunflowers are very big plants that grow in very big fields. Sunflower seeds are ground up to make cooking oil. 
You see them in the summertime out there. The fields. The sunflower gets its name from the way the blossoms turn to follow the movement of the sun. Their heads follow the sun. <laughs> the flowers in a flower shop are grown by scientists called horticulturists. In the countryside, you may see the same flowers growing wild. Daisy, tiger lily, dianthus, pansy, hawthorn. This is how to save your favorite flowers. Press and dry them between the pages of a journal. Then arrange the flowers nice and glue them on a sheet of paper. So you pick a flower and you put it down and you close the book on it and in 10 days it will be all dry and flat. Edelweiss and bright blue gentians are wild mountain flowers. They are very rare. You must never pick them. I don't think I've ever seen these kind. Everyone loves a beautiful bouquet of flowers. The end. Thanks for watching, friends. Click on Tumsky to subscribe. Click on the next show you want to watch. Please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. You can follow us on Facebook as well. Look under comments below. See you soon.